<laughs> now it's time for tonight's main event. If I had one of those boxing bells, I would ring it. That's it. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> there we are. Don't say we don't do things by half. Never mind the thriller in Manila or the rumble in the jungle. We have a Saturday scrap way bigger than all of that. In the red corner, we have Kai, the Count Bill <sighs> Show. And in the blue corner, we have Ben, the bomber, Leo. And Ben is fixated on the news that the NHS is set to roll out a fleet of electric ambulances as part of its commitment to combating climate change. <laughs> he says it's proof they're putting net zero targets above patient safety. Take it away, lads. It's round one. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys saw this week, the NHS is rolling out a swathe of electric ambulances across the country. They're going to sacrifice patient safety at the altar of the green uh, agenda. It's a green agenda. It's an absolute scam in my book. Um, at the moment, ambulances, petrol ambulances, they can drive up to 800 miles a day. They need uh, refuelling uh, every other day. And also, how long does it take to refuel? Just a few minutes at the petrol station. Green ambulances, it's been reported, will only be able to travel up to 100 miles a day before needing a four-hour recharge. There was a trial in the West Midlands. People raised serious concerns about patient safety. Um, and also, as part of that, they're delivering chemo uh, medicine by e-bike, amongst another... Um, <laughs> you find it funny. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It's actually devastating to patient health. So my claim is, Kai, that this green agenda isn't just killing people worldwide. The NHS now, instead of focusing on uh, excess patient waiting lists, excess deaths around the world, they care more about hitting stupid green targets than they do about patients in England. No. Let me give you a bit of a, a lesson here, because Ooh. the key word... The key word in that monologue was trial. Yes, there's a pilot scheme currently underway, which will be reported on and reviewed. There are net zero targets up until 2040. But if you think that you're going to go against the grain and go against the mainstream view in every large organization across the world that these targets are necessary and that environment, uh, environmental damage and climate change will cause more long-term harm than if we don't act. Right. Now, if you really think that you're going to buck that trend at the cost of the health of the planet, then I think you're like King Canute holding back the tide. Do, do, do you know how much this, uh, this electric ambulance fleet is going to cost the NHS if it goes ahead? It's going to make operational savings in the long term. No. Did half, you know that? Half a billion pounds a year. Half a billion pounds half, a year. No, no. no this trial in the West Midlands have already said it's going to put patient safety at risk. And do you know what? This whole green agenda in England, we're going to focus on England because that's where the ambulances uh, are being trialled. Do you know how much we've reduced our carbon emissions over the past, say, 40 years? How much? Tell More me. than any other nation on Earth, by about 40%. Do you know what the global uh, UK emissions are of CO2 compared to the rest of the world? Uh, I, I know that we're making vast improvements. Less Let than, me tell you why that is. Percent. Let me tell you, you know, why well, hang, one that more is. Question, one more question. Do you know how many staff members the NHS has hired in their dedicated green team, their annual combined salary? Do you know? 48 staff members, an annual combined salary of in excess of £30 million a year. And do you know how they travelled from London to Manchester last year? By plane. What a bunch of hypocrites. Same as Prince Harry, same as Meghan Markle, no. all the other hypocrites funding Just Off Oil Extinction Rebellion, flying everywhere, not giving me a damn. Do you this... know what? They know that this, the, the situation isn't as serious as they're flogging to the public. <laughs> let me also, let, let's rewind a little bit. Exactly all of these arguments have been made before on renewable energy. That's the reason why we've uh, improved our, uh, our standing in terms of uh, environmental standards in the UK. That's why the energy mix has transformed, is we invested in renewable energy. And guess what? It worked. We, we, st you, we still rely more on, you uh, invest, on coal to, fund, the more, to, to fuel the, the country at the moment. If you invest and you let the free market do its job, you'll see exactly the same happening with these electric ambulances. The, the charging times will reduce. They'll get much. The, the, the range will increase, and everybody's happy. Of course, the, the technology is not there now. The, the, of course, Time. the technology is not there now. I accept that. But you need to consistently right. invest okay, if you're okay. going to see so, improvement. So you accept the technology's not there. The range at the moment is on average 74 miles before needing a four-hour recharge of an ambulance. So you accept, you accept the technology's not there. Why are they introducing it now? 
Well, this is why we need to expand this pilot scheme. But it, 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 we're not talking about uh, something that's going to be happening immediately. We're talking about a net zero plan up until 2040, which, by the way, all, almost every single country in the world yeah, yeah. has committed all, all to these net zero plans. All the scientists plans. agree, apart from the ones who don't all want right. to be defunded. Go OK, on. all right, all right, all right. I'm going to bring in the rest of the panel now. I mean, what I would say to that, mm. though, is... Actually, well argue both, but I think the low traffic neighbourhoods that have blocked ambulances, for example, are a sign of this direction that we're going in. And I think once again, Kai, your evidence that Labour is placing ideology ahead of evidence and which is putting people at risk. I don't really know where the, how the Labour Party gets, gets into this. I mean, uh, you really shoehorn because that one in, to, Darren. By 2030, they want to actually, the, as far as the grid's concerned, completely get away from fossil fuels. How the hell are you going to do that? I, I feel like I'm living in a different century. There's been decades of mainstream scientific consensus well, you're going to be about the, the effects of climate change, yeah. which, has led to, which has led to all the net zero plans in every single... because it's literally every the law. Every single big... By law into this net zero con. Oh, I'm going to let Albi come in now. Oh, I was just listening to Ben Leo speak and I just thought, error, error, well, on, error, let's error. error. One by one. First yeah. of all, the United Kingdom is not reliant on coal. You meant to say gas. 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 So it's gas, not coal. The second point I would say is about these electric vehicles. You're talking about electrification like it is a new thing. We've been electrifying things since the mid 20th century. We all agree that electric trains are better than steam trains and diesel trains. We all agree that having electric lights are better than having gas lights. And this is just the latest step in electrification. Yes, the technology needs to go further. That is a fair point. Right, so we have, hold on, I'm not finished. You had your debate. I'm talking now. We have electric cabs. They get us around London absolutely fine. Yeah. We have electric vans that deliver our groceries. They get to our house absolutely fine. Why not have a trial for electric ambulances? Because, what is because, your beef with because, a trial? Because it's not there. The technology is not there. Well, it takes, why they're doing it takes a trial. four hours to charge a, a, a damning ambulance. A trial. I think this is why the NHS are being smart and they are doing it as a trial before issuing it out to the wider public. I don't think the NHS are that stupid that they're going to put oh, really? people's lives yeah, at risk. Stupid. I don't think they are, Ben. No, right. I don't. I don't think they are. And to be honest, this net zero stuff is not going to go anywhere. And every public institution are going to have to keep up with the times and they have to appear that they are doing something about yeah, it. Yeah, appear to be doing something. Not that they care about it, as proven by this ded dedicated NHS green team who spent 30k on domestic flights last year across England. How are they, they supposed they, to they get around? Plane, they got How a plane they from London. If, they cared, if, if we're to believe these people and the world is burning yeah. and we've got a few years left, you wouldn't get a damn plane from London to Manchester when your main job in the NHS is to promote green schemes. And also, it's not just electric ambulances. The NHS, for example, any new suppliers of medicines, um, any contractors, physical hardware, any kit, they now have to answer 135 questions before they're allowed to win the contract to see, A, whether it abides by NHS green values and, B, whether it meets target emissions. That's going to put, as proven by this trial in the West Midlands, patients at risk. All right, and all I can say, you know, I'll be made the point there, but his favourite Rishi Sunak, guess what he's building, folks? More gas power stations. What does that tell you?